Hey everyone, this is Todd Medina, your authority in MMA and all things concerned. So what we're talking about tonight is last week's fight with Cosmo Alexander against our own or UFC Sage Northcutt. Cosmo is a Muay Thai champion, okay? He's been around for quite a while. He's actually uh, 29 years old, so he's been fighting a little bit. And our boy Sage is 22, so there's a little bit of a difference, but more so in the age difference is the experience. So Cosmo's had, I believe it was 250 Muay Thai fights, and that's a lot, a lot of time in the ring, whether it's MMA, boxing, or Thai. Okay, that's just a ton of fights. So this was Sage's first fight from UFC into the one championship. So I think if he would have played the cards right and maybe not stood with him so much, the outcome would have been different. But what happened was 29 seconds into the first round, not the second round, but the 29 seconds into the first round, Cosmo hit Sage with a straight right, okay? Not a, uh, not a cross, not an overhand, but a straight right. And that's the most powerful punch of the two between the cross and the straight right. And unfortunately for Sage, he got knocked out, which in and of itself sometimes can't not be that bad, okay? Knockout is whatever but it's what happened after that. So he ended up having to have a nine hour surgery with eight fractures in his face and you know, it's gonna slow him down. It's gonna keep him out a good year and year and a half for that young fighter. So I don't know if that was necessarily the best fight for him, first thing in the ring, or even if it was a good fight, maybe it was a bad strategy. So here's what we do, a typical karate style, which is Sage against Cosmo, which is a Thai fighter. And what's the most exper uh, excuse me, what's the most expensive real estate inside of a boxing ring or octagon cage is the center. Okay. Now if you notice Cosmo's in the middle of the ring, he's not gonna give that up for anything. And Sage unfortunately keeps circling to what? The incorrect, the wrong direction. Okay, continually. He doesn't try to mix it up. And on top of that, he's in that karate stance circling in the wrong way. So what he's doing is when he's circling in the wrong way, he's stepping right into Cosmo's straight right hand. And what do you know? Look at this. Boom. He gives it to him. If you're going to keep circling that way and asking for it against the experienced fighter, he's going to give it to you. And if you notice, he circles, circles, karate stance, bang. He's going to eat that straight right hand. And unfortunately, unfortunately, Sage was on the ground. I guess he was face first on the mat, on the canvas for quite a while, which is unfortunate for him. So good luck to Sage and hope for a quick recovery. So thank you. What I'm going over today with is I'm going to show you is the difference between, for example, a jab cross and a straight right. Okay, the cross and the straight right are completely two different punches. Not everybody knows that. So what we're gonna do is go over to there and some of the highlights of the fight, you can see that. Unfortunately, Sage, you know, got his ass handed to him. And we're gonna show you that. But more importantly, we're gonna show you the straight right and the difference between the cross and the straight right. So if you have any questions, comments, please hit us back and we appreciate you. But uh, hopefully you like what we're gonna show you right now. So if you didn't know, now you know. Hey everyone, this is Todd Medina, your authority in MMA and all things concerned. I got my special guest, my baby boy, Tanner Medina with me today. So I was at an event a couple weeks ago uh, and I did an interview from Mexico a while back ago about the difference between a cross and a straight right. Two completely different punches, okay? Come from the, the same arm, but it comes from, it's a two completely punches. So I, the video I made way back when was one of their most viewed uh, videos they've had. So we kind of touched up on it and did some more about it. So I'm like, okay, I need to make one for up here. So with that said, we made one like last week, but it didn't come out so hot. So here's my revised one and hopefully this is gonna be good for everybody. So real quick, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna go over. So from your true boxing stance, for example, we have a jab and we have a cross. Okay, so Tanner here is gonna hit me with a jab and a cross. Okay, same punch on the same, same two punches, but on one hand. So that would be the target. Okay, so say if he was going to punch me in the face, we have the jab, and then the cross is essentially going to hit in the same spot, which it's supposed to. That's where it's supposed to go. Okay, but if you notice, so if he hits me with the jab, that jab is straight line. Okay, so he went straight down here. Okay, so that's where the most power on that left is. Okay, now when he hits me with that cross, sorry, it comes across his body. Okay, it comes across the body. It's the same spot as where the jab was. So with that said, it's gonna lose power. Now, work with me on this one. If you notice when people start boxing, 
they end up, when you start sparring or boxing or hitting mitts, they circle the incorrect way. Like ideally, I can go to the power hand, but I wanna stay, with, stay away from it, okay? So one of the setups for a straight right, okay, so that's the most powerful punch he's got, is that straight right, it's straight down, look, it's boom, okay? So we have a jab, that's the power, because it's straight out and then straight back. And then the straight right, same thing, is a straight boom. Okay, once he takes it off angle and hits it with that cross, it loses power. It's still a very powerful punch, that one, two, that jab cross, knocks people all out all day long. But the point with this video is, is that they're two different punches. Okay, so once again, I'm trying to touch on this because so many people were just, they didn't understand it at first. And after they watched the video in Mexico, they're like, oh wow, it was just a big eye opener. Um, so that's why I'm touching on this right now. So once again, we have a jab cross. Both punches, which you did perfectly right there, hit the same spot one more time. Okay, now the more powerful punch to set up is the jab, straight right. Okay, boom, it's gonna keep it right there so it's not gonna come across the body. Now, it's easier said than done. You can't, if he throws a jab, now if he, without moving, without moving, he throws the jab. Now if he throws a straight right, I'm not gonna be there. Okay, so the, the jab will still, some people we hear at, at my gym here, we train the jab more than takedowns, sprawls, hooks, uppercuts, anything. We train the jab like it's nobody's business. So it's not uncommon for somebody here to knock somebody down or knock somebody out with their jab. Okay, but just theoretically, the most part of the thing is that people just, they, they flip it. He came home one day, I don't know where the heck he was training, or went to go train or did something. He said, hey dad, this boxing coach told me to flick my jab and you never flick your jab. Like every time you do that jab, it's bad intentions. Remember that? So I, I'm glad he brought it up to me. So don't flick your jab. If you're gonna, every punch you throw, you need to throw with bad intentions. Okay, so now let's go get back on this. So once again, so he wants to really connect me with a straight right, okay? But for me to get there, so what he's gonna do is he like this is a typical there this is a setup you can do there's many of them you can do but this is what we're gonna do for right now he's gonna double jab okay so he's gonna throw one i'm either gonna step on the first jab or the second one but i'm gonna step into his power hand so say for example he, th he throws his first jab and i parry okay boom and then when he reloads and sets again i move now like a knucklehead i step right into the line of fire bang okay and that's the power shot right there because i stepped in right in that straight right and that straight right there's power that's straight boom okay it's when i take it offline is when the power goes down it's still a powerful punch but it's not the same okay so once again so he's trying to get me to step into that straight right okay so and all we're going to do right now is double jab one of my defenses right defense i'm going to parry on the first one and then step on the second one okay because i don't want to get punched in the face with a jab so he throws the jab i parry and i step out of the way and boom and he's baiting me all he's doing right now is baiting me to uh end up dropping that right hand on on, on me there so you can also do it for example the same thing he's, he can go jab lead hook so when he throws that jab boom when he throws that lead hook i'm going to try to step and bang it comes right there and you want it like this has been around for a while. If you hear like some coaches or the older guys say, you know, hit them on the button, that's the chin right there. And I'll step right into it. Cause no matter like, if you got the peekaboo style or whatever, it might be a little bit more to, to parry or, or catch or something like that. But when you step right into that line of fire with that right hand, and you'll hear your coach when you're circling, like I really, when I'm circling, I wanna stay away from this back hand, this power hand. Cause once again, this guy's gonna give it to me if I keep, uh, circle in the wrong way but now you, if you didn't know now you know that's the expression but if you keep stepping and he doesn't have to do anything he can stay in his true boxing stance and i'm going to step right into that punch every time so here's where we're going the two different punches the cross the jab cross okay boom boom that was perfect okay now he's going to throw a jab straight right okay that's the, the straight right is more powerful than the cross okay two different punches not everybody knows that but now hopefully you know it um, Mexico did really well with this video. Hopefully this helps you in some sort because we care the most. That's why I want you to understand these things. So keep the questions, the comments coming. So for right now, if you didn't know. Now you know.